Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Uh, start with the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Uh, today our lecture is about analgesics drugs. What are analgesics? So analgesics can be defined is in simple world. The word analgesics they are derived from a Greek science without an arrow is mean pants. So drugs that are selective in hepatic perception sensation of the pan are known as analgesics. Analgesics can be defined as any drug that relieve the pain selectively without blocking the conduction of neuro impulses, significantly altering sensory perception or affecting consciousness. That selectivity is an important distinction between an analgesic and an anesthetics. The classification of analgesics. So analgesic is further divided into two main groups. Look at here, so analgesic is divided into two groups. One is opioid analgesic, the second one is non-opioid analgesic. Now what are opioid analgesics? Opioid analgesics are those drugs which can relieve the pain sensation as well as to cause or produce sleep. While non-opioid analgesics are those analgesics which can relieve the pain sensation but it doesn't cause sleep. So opioid analgesic is further divided into three categories. The first one is natural opium alkaloid. The second one is semi-synthetic opioids, while the third one is synthetic opioids. Now, what are opioid analgesics? So opioid analgesics. So these are the drugs which have the capability to relieve the pain sensation as well as to cause or produce sleep. Narcotics, for example, narcotic morphine like analgesics they are included in this category. Narcotics morphine like analgesics they are included in this category in the opioid analgesics were once called narcotic drugs because they act directly on the brain and can induce sleep. The opioid analgesics can be used for either short-term or long-term relief of severe pain. So it means that opioid analgesics that can be used and and both condition either it may be short-term or long-term relief of severe pain. So these are morphine. Look at morphine and narcotics. So all these are narcotic analgesics. Narcotic analgesics. These are also known as narcotic or even opioid analgesics. Now come towards the subclasses of opioids. These are the subclasses of uh, opioids. So further, the opioids, they are classified into three subclasses. The first one is natural opium alkaloid. So this is the SR structure activity relationship. This is the SR, this is the structure of the natural opium alkaloid. So the first one is morphine. The second one is codeine. So morphine and codeine most commonly used strong analgesic less addictive than morphine similar to morphine except for replacement of hydroxyl group and methyl group methadone and hydromorphone now the second one is semi-synthetic opiates so semi-synthetic opiates these are also called dicetyl morphines oxymorphone uh, folcodines while the third one is synthetic opioid. So synthetic opioid, these are pethidines, methadone, and dextropropoxypine. Now the second category is non-opioids analgesics. Non-opioids analgesics are actually non-steroidals anti-inflammatory drugs or non-narcotics aspirin-like analgesics. These are also called non-opioids analgesics. So aspirin is the classical example of non-opioid analgesics. Non-opioid analgesics are those analgesics which relieve the pain sensation by reducing the local inflammatory response, but it doesn't cause or produce sleep. In contrast, the anti-inflammatory compounds, they are used for short-term fan relief and for modest fan, such as that of headache, muscle strain, bruising or arthritis.
sample i would like to define the fans what is fan fan can be defined as a protective mechanism to warn of damage or the presence of disease so look at here these are different conditions and with the person feelings uh, fan sensations fanful cough heartburn finger pain hip pain ankle pain hand pain arm aches and these are foot pains headaches sore throats headaches so all these are the form of fan so fan is the protective mechanism to warn of damage or the presence of the disease fan can be classified into two categories on the basis of onset and duration there are two types of fan one is acute fan the second one is chronic fan acute fan is actually sudden is onset and usually subsides once treated chronic pains as persistence or continual or recurring happen or occurs again often typical to treat the difference between acute pain and chronic pain acute pain is caused generally known short term 3 to 6 months anxiety response well to medications red tissue and r r i c rest eyes compressions elevations while the chronic pain is caused up in unknown long terms sex and then it can exceed to uh, at 9 10 and 12 months for a longer period of time depressions doesn't respond to medications white tissue and you can say met moments and exercise and uh, many and more analgesia and uh, many and more conditions now the major sources of pain what are the major sources of pain so these are the sources somatic visceral and neuro neuroptics and somatic uh, the areas which are involved it is the body framework and what are the characteristics of the somatics uh, fans when the fan is somatic that is uh, its characteristics like that is also called throbbings or stabbing or sharp at treatment is narcotics in algesic or in non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs while the visceral this is another kind of pain in the areas which are involved in visceral pain that is kidney that is intestine and that is livers the characteristics it may be in the form of aching usually moderate pain and throbbings the treatment is narcotics and insects while in neuropathics uh you can say the areas involved is nerve like sciatic nerve fans it also come under the category of neuropathy so the characteristics uh, they are in the form of burning sensation and tangling pain you can send the sample treatment is narcotics we can treat the patients with the help of narcotics or instead not steroidal anti inflammatory drugs anti depressants or anti convulsants inshallah the non opioid uh, analgesics or anti inflammatory analgesics inshallah it will be discussed in my next lecture thank you for watching my lecture